Oh, halfway through the entire list. Now we're at Star Tunes, the two year older version of Kennedy cartoons, but more solid and fluid. And as I said before in some of my earlier videos, yos, say with me now, folks. They've only animated three episodes of the show. Yes, these three happen to be <clears throat> Henny Youngman Day, the one I like the most. Um, there was also 13 something. And it's a Tiny Toons Christmas special. I wonder where Roger is. Sherelle West Coast! Ow! Ow! Ah. Uh, I'm okay. Wait, Roger, where did you come from? The sky. Want me to do that again? I guess. Sherelle West Coast! Ow! Anywho, the founder of Star Tunes International also worked at Kennedy Cartoons. His name was John McClenahan. Ugh, oh boy. Maybe you should go soak your head. Ugh, you go soak your head. Ugh. No, I'm like, take a, a breather. At that, doing that intro twice, and now the second one, you kind of fell through the floors. No, I bounced over the floors, hit my head on a low ceiling, and then crash landed. But let's get back on track. John McClenahan, who worked at, who created um, Star Tunes International in 1998, kind of made this place with a few helpful, fr with a little help from people like James Tucker, Perry Zambales, Liz. I think there was a girl named Wendy Parkins who worked at Kennedy Cartoons and would become, become a fe fellow member. And don't forget the dearly departed Marty Lennon. Wait, like John Lennon? Last name's similar, but I don't think they're related. Oh, okay. Okay, that, that makes more sense. But let's stick to the scripting topic. We didn't even write a script. Oh, yeah, doy. Any who for the best animated episode Star Tunes has done, we all equally know what it was. Thomas, would you care to say it? With pleasure. <clears throat> for the best Star Tunes an animated episode on Tiny Tunes, that would that reward would go to Henny Youngman Day. Because it would be the start of Baby Plucky, it had the best guest star known to the series in Mankind, a.k.a. Henny Youngman. And all around the animation, timing, backgrounds, and layouts were pretty nice. And pretty solid. Plus, I don't really mind the Ink and Pink from Luke film. Although their continuity and consistency could use a little work. Not unlike with um, 13 something. That was okay in its own books. Meanwhile, for the Tiny Toons, Toons Christmas, or the Christmas episode, I did enjoy most of it. Like the additional animation from Rainbow Animation, along as them. The same thing as them doing the ink and paint. They were more consistent than Luke Films. But. They weren't as beautifully animated. I mean, that's not to say Star Tunes did a bad job. By all means, and quite the contrary, they did an awesome job. Just that that last episode didn't really make the cut, per se. If you catch my drift. But all in all, Star Tunes is a pretty nice company. It's very upsetting to know that some of them died, but some of them found their own job. Up in the line of animation. Like when one door opens, another door may close. Try it the other way around and I couldn't agree with you more. But anywho, that only leaves three animation studios left to talk about. And I'm going to be doing them lonesome. Take care everyone. Don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe.
subscribe button, and turn on those notification bell thingies, thingies, so you don't miss out whenever we post. Okay? Okay. Later.